What's going on everybody? Coach Rufner here with Rufner Fitness and today what I'm going to cover is how to do one of the heaviest Spartan obstacles that there is, the Atlas Carry. Now when I was in Fayetteville I worked the SGX coaching zone and that was by far one of the biggest questions other than how to get over the wall and how to climb the rope was how do you pick this heavy joker behind me up? Okay, so Spartan released a uh, photo thing the other day that had all the weights of their uh, their obstacles or whatever. They said that the average Atlas ball is anywhere from 100 to 110 pounds for the males, and it is 70 to 80 pounds for the females. Now, the ones that I have here in front of me, this one was 92 pounds when it was weighed. I have a female size one that's 70 pounds that I train clients with, and today I'm going to show you two different techniques on how to pick this ball up. All right, so first one I'm gonna show you is the one that I personally use. Well, first let me go ahead and, uh, and tell you how the obstacle works. So if you've never done it before, you're gonna have two predetermined spots. It's gonna be a start and a stop. So you're gonna carry it down to the, the first desired spot or the designated spot. You're gonna set the ball down and you're gonna do five burpees. Then you're gonna pick the ball back up and carry it back to you again. Drop it down and then once you drop it the second time, you don't have to pick it up again, you take off and run, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to pick this thing up the first way, and that's gonna to be to just bend straight down and pick it up. Now, what we wanna do is keep the weight back on your heels, and I roll the ball forwards a little bit. I'm gonna pull it in tight to me, and I'm gonna stand up. All right, lock the fingers, and then just walk with it. All right? Now, these things are heavy, so, if you're not strong enough to pick it up, I know the first time I grabbed a hold of this, I was not expecting it to be that heavy. So always make sure that you're keeping your back flat and you're trying to push with your heels, not so much driving the knees forwards. But I see a lot of people when they get fatigued, they don't care. They pick it up however they can get it off the ground. Okay, so I recently learned this one the other day, but this is the other way to actually pick this ball up. So we're gonna come down, you're gonna take a knee, you're gonna roll it up your knee, you're gonna transfer it to the other side, we're gonna go ahead and interlock our fingers, all right? Go ahead and hug this ball in tight, close to you, and stand up, okay? Once you get to the other end, drop it, and as with everything that's heavy, quick feet are happy feet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share this video, and uh, you can find out more about me at roofnerfitness.com or on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, pretty much every social media thing at Roofner Fitness.